morning each and everyone so today i welcome you all first of all class 10th students we are here to discuss the first chapter of your ncra book that is the life processes before discussing the process life processes we will discuss what actually is living because the life process takes place only in the living things not in the non living things so what actually is living something which is not dead is called as living living is also said to be alive alive means having life so something that has life is called to be living or alive all the plants all the animals all the insects birds they are alive now how what are the basic characteristics what are the things criteria to decide whether something is living or dead this is the most important question so the first and the foremost criteria to decide whether something is living or not is the movement all the living things show movement from one place to another this movement can be fast can be slow but the plants are also living things now you will ask me the plants are also living things but they cannot move from one place to another they do not show any movement you are wrong plants are fixed at a place but they show movement for example they grow which means they are showing the upward movement we move from one place to another which means we are showing horizontal movement this movement can be due to many reasons but however the most important criteria to decide whether something is moving or not a living thing can move by itself no external force is applied on the body to make it move no external force is applied for example i can move by myself you can move by yourself but can the table can the chair can the pen can the pencil can the book can the copy can this mobile phone even move by itself no but a cycle can move by itself you will ask no we need to apply force on it a motorcycle can move by itself no it moves by the rotating motor so there are certain other criteria to decide whether something is living or not so we will discuss one by one that what are the characteristics to decide whether something is living or dead this movement can actually be also at a very microscopic level for example you know everybody that our body is made up of cells these cells carry out various metabolic processes and obviously in these cells various metabolic processes are carried out and exchange of ions takes place these are also movement and cell is a living thing but we cannot see the movement so how can we say that it is living or non living so there are most there are many criteria to decide whether something is living or dead the first and the foremost is that the living things can move by themselves no external force is applied on living thing to make it move secondly living things need food air and water to survive can you survive without food no can a plant survive without water no can an insect survive without food no can a bird survive without food no these are all the living things all the plants animals insects birds they require energy and this energy is obtained by food for carrying out various metabolic activities as well as the physical activities like playing studying anything but the non living things do not require any energy they just lay at a place they do not require any food air or water the third and the most important characteristic is that living things can grow living things can grow by themselves for example when we were born we were just a small child and initially we grew up this much the plants when we grow a sapling a seed it is usually very tiny but then it grows into a very big tree but a chair can it grow by itself can a pencil can it grow by itself can a pen 
can a bed can a floor can any of the articles which are non living cannot to grow by themselves next characteristic is that the living things respond to the changes around them living things respond to the changes if there are certain changes in the environmental conditions they respond for example 2 3 months back it was cold so we were wearing winter clothes now it has become initially hot so we have removed our sweaters so this is the change in the environment and this change in the environment has made us to respond accordingly and we have responded by removing our sweaters but you put a chair in a cold condition you put a chair in a hot condition it doesn't matters because it cannot res it is non living thing it cannot respond to any changes around itself they are non sensitive around the changes around them they will not make any movements the next important point is that the living things respire now what is the process of respiration okay we eat food it goes into our stomach gets digested and this digested food is absorbed by the body cells for what for various metabolic processes which releases the energy so the living things utilize this food to release energy no non living things require energy for their purposes a chair lies as it is a table lies as it is a pen pencil book phone everything just lie as it is they do not require energy so the living things do not require any energy so the living things do not respire next point is the living things excrete yes when we eat not all the things which we eat are healthy for our body there are certain toxic materials which are produced in the body and these are removed from time to time by the body and this process is known as excretion but the non living things do not excrete because they do not eat so they do not excrete last is the living things can reproduce they can give birth to young ones for example human beings can produce human more human beings plants can produce more plants insects can produce more insects birds can produce more birds but can a chair produce a chair can a pencil produce a pencil no so these are certain important points to remember when we are studying that the living things first of all can grow secondly living things need food air and water thirdly living things respire living things excrete living things reproduce living things can respond to the changes around them that is the living things are sensitive so i hope this topic is clear to you in the next video we will be dealing with the next topic that life processes what are life processes and what are the various life processes thank you